Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. I am Hussain Medi. Hope all of you are doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how to create app from template. To create app in Power Apps, we have three different methods. We can start from data, we can make from blank and we can make from template. So in this video, I'm going to discuss make from template. There are so many templates in Power Apps we can use. For example, leave request, help desk, my expenses and so many as well. Templates are quick ways to create apps that use connected data sources. Templates you can choose from and customize to create an app that meets your needs. If you are not comfortable to use those templates, you can use those pre-created templates to gain ideas how things work in different cases so that you can create your own app if you want. Using templates gives you some advantages. You have pre-built layout and beautiful color scheme on the different screens. Learn how things are working or being configured in the templates to gain ideas. Learn how camera or GPS being configured. Means. If you want to use templates, you can use and you can customize according to your requirement and according to your needs. But if you are not comfortable with templates because of any reason, maybe because of data connection reason, maybe because of data source reason, you can use those templates and you can gain ideas and knowledge so that you can implement those concepts in your own customized app. I strongly suggest you to keep checking pre-created templates so that you can know how the things work in different cases. For example, there may be a template using GPS, using camera, using any other hardware device, maybe using AI. You will come to know how the things work in those scenarios and you can gain knowledge from those templates and implement those things in your app as well. The app that you create from template may contain different screens depending on template you will select. I will take a little time over here because we know there are three different ways we can create app number one from data, number two from blank and number three from template. When we use from data usually we have three screens number one browser screen, number two Detail screen number three, edit screen. But when we create app from blank, we don't have any screen and we have to create each and every screen by ourselves. But in that case, create from template, we don't know how many screens are there in the template because it depends on the templates you are going to use. App may contain browser screen to see records in the list. App may contain edit screen. App may contain create screen. App may contain stats screen. App may contain graphical screen. And so on. So first you have to think what template you are going to use and why. And then you can use that template if it satisfy your conditions, it satisfy your requirement and needs. And after that, if you are still not comfortable with that template, you can use that template and gain the knowledge and you can implement your own app with your requirements. So this is the template I'm going to use in this video, service desk template. In this template, we can see header over here. We can see plus sign. We can see stats over here. We can see left panel or left menu and we can see gallery as well in this template. So let's create app from template and we'll see how the things works in template. This is the home page of Power Apps and we will click on the create. Now we can see three ways to make an app. Start from blank, start from data, start from template. We are going to use this method start from template in this video and now we can see there are so many templates pre-created templates over here 
for example power apps training for office meeting capture power app training budget tracker help desk onboarding tasks and so on but we are going to use this template over here service desk template we will click on this it will ask name and I we will you can put any name my app from template now over here we have two formats or two sizes tablet and phone we can select any size tablet or phone but when we select tablet size it offers us to resize as we want but in the phone size we have only one size click create now the app is ready for us to use this is the home screen of the app from the template and we can click this preview button now this is the app we just created from template we can see header we can see left panel we can see gallery over here and these are the controls in the gallery these are the controls on the app screen these are the controls like everything is pre-configured in the app so this is the gallery with all records and if we click any record over here it will go to the detail screen and we can change this as well like it is in process we can change this on hold this is on hold it is assigned to Chris and this the area is IT and the priority is medium and then we can save the record but at this moment I am not going to save it I am just uh, walking you through the app these, these are the man these are the left panel menus if you click this it will show you the new ticket these tickets are in progress these are the whole ones and so on but so this ticket is not assigned to anyone so I am going to assign this ticket to Chris save Chris now it has been assigned to the Chris and uh, we can also create a new ticket click on this plus sign Hussein priority is low area is HR subject I have lost my ID card and I need new one copy and paste okay over here we are typing name created by but if you want to use if you want to customize this app you can utilize the functionality you can implement functionality so that it this text box can use logged in name so if I'm logged in in this app my name would come over here in read only mode if you are using this app and if you are creating ticket so your name would come over here in a read only mode just to make sure who is creating ticket is the same person who is logged in in the system click on the create ticket the new, the new ticket has been created if you go to the new, new tickets you will see I have lost my ID card and I need a new one this list or all list over here in ascending order format you can customize this and you can change this order so that you can see list in the descending order always or you can put sort icon over here and you can implement sorting functionality over there so that if you want to see this list in the ascending order you will click that sort icon if you want to see this list in the descending order you can click again on that set sorting icon and we can see there is no delete option in this app you can implement delete functionality in this app as well or you can implement search functionality in this app so you can customize according to your needs and wants okay let's do a little customization over here so that we can see 
we can change the app select this and okay one more thing let me show you these are all tickets I cannot scroll down or scroll up over here because it's a tablet format or maybe it if it is a mobile format then there is no scroll bar over here so I need a scroll bar because I'm using this in browser because my laptop or my monitor is not a touch screen so I cannot move this with my finger or thumb but if I'm using this in tablet or if it is a mobile format I'm using it in a mobile so I don't need scroll bar so let's go back and configure this with the scroll bar come over here okay select this gallery and come over here and show scroll bar so it is turned off turn it on now the scroll bar is here click on the preview and now you can scroll up and down in this app okay let's do a little customization over here I want this task I want this text on the left side select this and click over here and change the title my service desk now play it so it has been left aligned and the title has been changed from service desk to my desk and we have also a scroll bar over here so you can put any control over here you can do a customization according to your requirement according to your needs you can put a delete option over here you can put a sorting option over here you can put a search option over here and you can do a lot according to your requirement you can put a picture over here who is logged in you can show the name of the person who is logged in over here one last thing in this video I want to share with you so there are already sample data exists over here in this app there are two options to delete this data you can delete this from the app but there is no functionality of delete over here so you can put a delete functionality over here and then you can delete sample data from the app or if applicable you can go into the data source such as Excel and then delete from there so far we have done a little customization in this app but if you go back and click on apps I don't see app in my apps so first you have to save this app so control s cloud my app from templates save now go back and check apps so now app is in my app area now you can do many things with this app you can edit it you can play it you can share this you can export it so that you can import in any other uh, solution you can add to the team you can monitor this and you can do a lot with this app so now we have created app from template we have done a little customization in the app and we have seen what we can do with this app with these menus this is the end of the video if you like it and if it increases your knowledge please give me the feedback subscribe my channel stay blessed and keep learning thank you for watching